ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my top 20 best movies of 2023, part one. And uh, if you guys have checked out my top 10 worst films of 2023, it'll be linked over here probably. If not, definitely at the end of this video. If you guys could, give us a like and a subscribe. And I would love to know if any of these movies landed on your list. Let's get right into this. Uh, number 20, Inside with Willem Dafoe. I gave this a 4.1. Three five. Uh, I really did dig this movie, and I do want to put a caveat on this. None of my star ratings uh, mean anything to where these landed on my list. Uh, this is the list that I put together, my personal list of movies that I liked. My star rating does not represent where they landed or anything like that. I really dug this movie. It was definitely different. It was new. It was fun. It was something I hadn't seen before. Uh, just somebody basically losing their mind, stuck in a building, having to fight and try to figure out how to survive. I really dug it. The ambiguous ending to it, I really dug also. Did he live or did he die? It's kind of really cool. I dug it. I dug it. Coming in at number 19, one of my favorite horror movies of 2023, Megan. I gave that a 3.875 stars. I love this movie. A killer robot that <laughs> is just a fun watch. The only thing I took away from this movie is I really wish this was a hard R movie, but I get it. I understand it. But man, I loved it. It was so damn good. It was so good. At number 18, Knock at the Cabin. Another very original film. You don't get to see a lot of movies where the bad guys aren't really the bad guys and technically the victims are the bad guys. Uh, the only thing is like, I wish they would have stayed way closer to the book. They didn't. I would have loved to see that. Uh, Dave Bautista absolutely kills it in this movie. Uh, and I did give that a 3.8. Seven, five. I don't remember if I said that or not. Next up is my first Hayao Miyazaki review, The Boy and the Heroine, which I gave a 4.2 stars. I loved this movie. I did see the dub version, so we had some great actors doing the dubbed uh, for this, uh, Florence Pugh, uh, Dave Batista, like many others, and was just an absolute fun thrill ride. No, I didn't understand a thing of what was happening in this movie, but damn, it was fun. At number 16, Asteroid City, and I gave this five stars because this is the type of town. Like, I would have loved to have grown up in this type of era, been in this type of town. Like, we, we I live in Vegas. So we had these things, like the nuclear the nuclear tests off in the distance and everything else. And it was just an interesting, fun time. That rural, so good. And this cast is absolutely amazing. Like, I just loved it. Not a lot of people did, but I did. I loved it. At number 15, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And I gave this five stars because... In the form of a trilogy, which this was, this was an absolute perfect, beautiful ending to who the Guardians were. It is cool to see now they will be off on their own, but the Guardians of the Galaxy are still together under Rocket and Gamora, uh, Rocket and Nebula and Groot under their uh, training and everything else, and I loved it. This was a beautiful send-off for James Gunn, which I wish him all the best of luck in the DCU. We'll see how that goes, right? At number 14, Evil Dead Rise. I gave this four stars. This 
was such a fun, perfect homage to the Evil Dead series. Like, this was what I wanted, an Evil Dead thing. Still had the campy craziness about it, but then that deep, hardcore violence and blood and gore and everything else. And it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was also a very dope haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights in 2023. Uh, at number 13, we have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and I gave that four stars. Man, whew, this movie was just so good. Oscar Isaacs, uh, shit, I'm blanking on everybody else in that movie, but to see all the Spider-Men, to see all the things, the, the canon, uh, not canon moments, but like core moments that every spider-man has to go through and if it's altered it could create time rifts and everything else is absolutely brilliant uh i don't think i like this version of spider-man 2099 but he's pretty dope he's pretty dope and it had a great ending to this movie can't wait for the next one at number 12 a good person and i gave this 4.2 1.25 this was a great character driven beautiful movie starring Florence Pugh like you just love to see her in this role she plays a scumbag she plays the hero she plays the victim and it's brilliant and it has such a great ending to it I love this movie I really did uh at number 11 our final one on this list, The Creator, which I gave uh, 4.125 stars. This was great. John David Washington just killed it in this role. It was such an interesting look at AI. Some of the moments with AI, you were like, man, I hate them. But then they're just wanting to be their own people and... That's a deep sentiment to a lot of things going on in the world right now, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this first set of 10. I would sure to love it. The next part two will be out super soon and super quick, so look forward to that. Thank you guys so very much, and I will see you in our next review. Bye.